this is an, this is an update on the feedback uh, from uh, Ginny Yu and Darlene. Uh, at, this is on the 18th of August, 2021. Uh, number uh, one uh, is master data load that was taking time is now available where in the view and edit mode, the data shows up. It was showing up after a few seconds. Now it loads up instantly. Uh, the allocation config refresh, uh, where in it previously uh, the when the network refresh happened, uh, it now retains that previous configuration, and you don't have to redo the entire configuration again when you add a well or uh, a meter. Number three is around uh, adding uh, master data effective dates. We've completed that on the core attributes. Uh, in the future, we'll also be adding it to the EAV attributes. Uh, as we've discussed in the past. Uh, and then the last one uh, that is still in QA is uh, the use of keyboard shortcuts and speeding up the saving of data as you traverse the grid to edit uh, large amounts of data. Um, so with that, let me first jump into the first one where we're talking about the master data load time. Um, so this one, uh, now if I click into, for example, a well, previously this data was taking time to load. Uh, now if you hit edit as well, that data shows up uh, fa fairly quickly. We're also uh, working on the alphabetization of all these pick lists. So those uh, should also get completed in the near future. Um, <clears throat> one of the other things here is the master data effective dates. You can see that as well. So now you have the ability to add the effective end date as well as uh, choose a new well type uh, and add uh, from starting from today or in, in, in the near future. So you should be able to do that on the effective dates. We're still in, in the process of adding in that for the is active piece and the AAV attributes. Uh, the third piece uh, here is around allocation refresh. Um, Siddharth, did you want to share that piece? Yeah, thanks, Ravi. Yeah. Hey, Ginny. Hey, uh, Darlene. Uh, so uh, one of the feedback which we have received from you was regarding uh, the ability to refresh uh, an allocation config uh, without uh, really losing uh, already selected volume sources. So in order to accomplish that, we have introduced uh, uh, the button to basically reapply the allocation config, uh, as well as a capability to clear selection. So when you basically hit clear selection, it, it uh, kind of Deselects all the volume sources which were already selected, uh, and the user can freshly go and assign uh, the volume sources. Uh, let me just discard this and show the capability of uh, editing it or adding a new volume source. So one of the prior problem uh, which uh, production contents as well as internal users faced was when a user decides to delete an allocation config. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, an object on the network. And if they refresh, all the volume sources were getting deselected or all of them were getting selected and the user had to go individually to every disposition and redo the selection. So what we do here is when you go and refresh, it retains the previously selected volume sources which are already saved in the network. And all the user needs to do is go and uh, just uh, select the new volume sources which they have added and in case they have deleted any volume sources, that automatically gets removed from this list. So the user could just go here and just save the allocation uh, network. Thanks. Yeah. Over to you, Hari. Thanks, Siddharth. Uh, the final thing that we wanted to show you uh, today was around the reading uh, management navigation. Um, so a couple of things have changed there. Let me share my screen again. And you will notice that, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that we've done is be able to use the shift down and shift up key to access uh, the next or the previous row. You can tab and get to the uh, previous, uh, the next one or shift tab and come back to this. If you go ahead and edit this data, and make it, uh, it takes 
you can still edit other things so let me give you another example go seven and shift down i can still delete and enter delete and enter delete and enter and this should not lock your access to all the different attributes that you need to edit in a, a sequence and uh, fast so those are the uh, the key four updates that we had for you today uh, we'll be sending out more updates as those become available as well thank you thank you